Praise the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Eucharistic celebration. Let us pray for Divine Retreat Center Samasbi. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the Divine Retreat Center Samasbi. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this your temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions and let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Entrance and Ephraim. Be my protector, O God, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me, guide me for the sake of your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your Dear loving children of God today, let us remember all those who are struggling due to the impacts of COVID. Among them, those who really lost their jobs and really trying hard to find a proper and a suit job for their life. Let's remember such a people who were searching desperately for a job today. Brethren, let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings. So prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries in a worthy manner. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have, mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. A God who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true. Grant that we might be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for readings. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great on the earth, and that the thoughts in his heart fashioned nothing but wickedness all day long. The Lord regretted having made man on the earth, and his heart grieved. I will rid the earth's face of man, my own creation, the Lord said, and of animals also, reptiles too, and the birds of heaven, for I regret having made them. But Nov had found favor with the Lord. And the Lord said to Nov, Go Aboard the ark, you and all your household, for you alone among this generation do I see as a good man in my judgment. Of all the clean animals, you must take seven of each kind, both male and female. Of the unclean animals, you must take two, a male and its female. And of the birds of heaven also, seven of each kind, 
both male and female, to propagate their kind over the whole earth. For in seven days' time, I mean to make it rain on the earth for forty days and nights, and I will rid the earth of every living thing that I made. No, did all that the Lord ordered. Seven days later, the waters of the flood appeared on the earth. The word of the Lord. A response. The Lord will bless His people with peace. O oh, give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of His name. Adore the Lord in His holy court. Response. The Lord will bless His people with peace. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters. The Lord on the immensity of waters. The voice of the Lord full of power. The voice of the Lord full of splendor. Response. The Lord will bless His people with peace. The God of glory thunders. In his temple they all cry glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as king forever. A response. Let's stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. All who love me will keep my words. And my father will love them. And we will come to them. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples had forgotten to take any food and they had only one loaf with them in the board. Then Jesus gave them this warning. Keep your eyes open. Be on your guard against the east of the Pharisees and the east of Herod. And they said to one another, It's because we have no bread. And Jesus knew it and said to them, Why are you talking about having no bread? Do you not yet understand? Have you no perception? Are your minds closed? Have you eyes that do not see, ears that do not hear? Or do you not remember? When I broke the five loaves among the five thousand, how many baskets full of scraps did you collect? They answered twelve. When I broke the seven loaves for four thousand, how many baskets full of scraps did you collect? They answered seven. Then he said to them, Are you still without perception? The Gospel of the Lord. Dear loving children of God, Jesus' uh, words towards his disciples, keep your eyes open. Be on your guard against the east of the Pharisees and the east of Herod. When we go through the Gospels, we come to know this attitude of Pharisees and Herod. Jesus, in a way, trying to teach his disciples or even today to all of us as his followers, Jesus teaches this, be open your eyes, be vigilant on this east of Pharisees and Herod. And now, what is about this? What it's all about attitudes of Herod and Pharisees. What was that? The pride mentalities, the dishonesty of life, and the desires for name and fame, and even that disordered affection towards having honor in common places. So, dear loving children of God, Jesus teaches all of us today, just be open your eyes, be vigilant, be watch over such attitudes in your life. This is not going to help us in any way.
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, walk of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, the work of human hands, it will become a spiritual dream. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us. May it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without the end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the high. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended. He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church. Spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, a Pope, Anthony, a Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Have mercy on every single one desperately searching for a job at this time of their life. We pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her devoted spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Mary Magdalene, and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, a God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Half mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Those who are not able to go to church physically today, this is your time of spiritual communion. You can join along with me when I do this prayer now. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. The desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart and I embrace you as you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life. Dear loving children of God, tomorrow we have Ash Wednesday. So in this London season, every day tomorrow begins at 7.45 a.m. onwards, Way of the Cross online. So we do this service at Divine here through this, way, this uh, YouTube and Facebook channel. And the mass time will keep the same 8 o'clock, but only one thing. When we finish the Way of the Cross, we begin the Mass immediately. So that will be our plan and schedule from tomorrow onwards till we complete Easter. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With you May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in the day of battle. We are safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for praise, O Jesus. Eternal. Keep all your praise within the shelter of your sacred heart. 
where none may harm them. Keep unstained anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purple with your precious blood. Keep pure and lovely their hearts, sealed with the sublime mark of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruits. May the souls to whom they have ministered be their joy and consolation, and in heaven a beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us, and obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. Goodbye. 